Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. If it's the first time on your channel, please subscribe, like and share. Um, today I wanted to talk about the algorithm bias. We have heard quite a bit about it, but I don't think people quite understand the implication of what it does and how it works. So I'm just going to give you a brief synopsis of what I have learned. Um, basically, it's a secret... Um, the Home Office is using a secret visa algorithm to process visa applications. The UK visa regulator has been ignoring complaints for the past 10 years of discrimination. These are the three key factors. And there is bias, discrimination and corrupt corruption in the Home Office. Now, when we think about the algorithm bias, um, I did a video on it and it we was looking at it from the perspective of the facial recognition software, which can only identify or it only identifies people with color, age and gender. And it kind of disadvantages because it doesn't it doesn't hone in on any other race. So. <clears throat> when you think about the facial recognition software is used in order to find criminals and that kind of stuff, it is disadvantaged because if it only picks up people of colour, they're going to be the majority of people who are going to be arrested. So that was a concern. But now it's even more concerning that the Home Office, use, home office is using algorithms to process their applications. Now we could ask ourselves, why are they doing that? Well, we know that the mandate is to reduce net migration. They obviously cannot do it one, you know, manually going through all those applications. So they've built in an algorithm which um, will determine based on the UK, the ideal UK citizen. What is what does the IK, what does the ideal UK citizen look like? I have no idea. Because you still have people who have grandparents born in this country and visually they might not look like citizens because we have to go by perceptions. When people think about immigrants, they think about people of colour, they think about people with accents. That is what they determine as, as immigrants. They can't put an algorithm that will determine an accent, but they can put an algorithm determining where a person is born, where their mother is, parents are born, their grandparents, and as far back as their grandparents. Um, I, I assume that those who have grandparents and great-grandparents born in the UK, they would have the green light because the algorithm works on a RAG system. RAG system is red, amber and green. Red will flag them up based on nationality. Um, I, I think, I don't know about the amber, but the amber may be a blend of nationality and wealth. And the green would probably be um, the fact that they might have descendants of the UK plus they're wealthy. So those are the only way I can think of how green, amber and red works, their rag system. It could work some other way, but it doesn't take away the fact that this discriminatory tool is used to disadvantage people of colour in their applications for a visa. And what is unfair is that these people have already paid their thousands of pounds to have that visa processed, only to have it denied because these algorithms are rejecting them. And this is one of those the reasons those 24 professional doctors and philanthropists and researchers were turned away because who were African. For, and I think that is how it came out, mostly because there was wondering why people who are obviously not going to overstay, people who are wealthy and people who have come here for a conference would be rejected. And this is how they found it out. Anyway, um, I'm just going to give you a brief description. For those of you who don't know what the algorithm is, it's used in, comp used in computer science. An algorithm is an unambiguous specification of how to solve a class of problems. The class of problems is, of course, immigration.
immigration immigration we have two immigrants so they stick this, this tool in to see how they can um, diffuse it um, through its reported use at the Home Office, an algorithm is in use to determine the qualities of what criteria the ideal UK citizen meets, which to me is white, rich and famous, maybe. Who knows? Um, the algorithm ranks viable applicants through a RAG system, which is what I've just explained, the red, amber and green. It rejects applicants based on nationality. Uh, it's a streaming tool and it's a decision tool. And the thing is about that is that it not only streams these people um, and highlights who's an immigrant or who wherever they've come from, but it all, it's also used to make decisions. And the thing is, there's no human intervention here. So this tool will, okay, so if they've put in Africa or Asia or whatever other country, Based on that, it streams it out and it'll also make the decision to reject them. So there's no human interaction to kind of verify the rest of the details on that system. The software may disadvantage certain groups of people based on generic markers of age, country of origin and whether they've travelled before. I'm not quite sure what the um, meaning behind whether they've travelled before I don't, I don't know why that would be a marker. Or does it mean where they've travelled? I, I have no idea. The Centre of Data Ethics Innovation are looking into this. So like I said, they have had complaints, which has been ignored. Um, the UK visa regulator ignored the complaints that have been going on for 10 years about discrimination. And like I said, there's bias, discrimination and corruption in the Home Office because what's happening is that they're covering it up. So people know what's happening and it's all been covered up. I guess, you know, everybody wants a job. Um, but I don't know how they sleep at night. Well, maybe, I mean, I, I believe that certain types of people work in these organisations. If they don't fit, they leave. We do know that many have resigned because of the unfair practices in the Home Office and those who stay, we have to assume, um, condone this kind of behaviour. So, yeah, so that's just a quickie and have a good day. Bye bye.